I just heard someone say, it's easier to change your man than to change your man. You know, okay, let me, hear me out. It's easier to just go and find a different man than to try to change the one that you're with that isn't the man that you need him to be, right? So you could switch men, uh, but you can't change a man. You can't make him be what you want or need him to be. That's one thing I learned the hard way. I'm 27 years old. God, I wish I would have known that before. You know, if you're actually going to use logic, you can actually debunk what she just said. It's not easier to change your man. Just like it ain't easy to change your girl, bro. It ain't a bunch of upstanding citizen women out here running around just waiting to be wiped up that's actually qualified to be somebody's girlfriend. And I would argue the same thing for a lot of these dudes. It's a problem that I honestly think women created. Honestly, y'all like a certain type of dude, so they learn that this behavior is favorable so that type of guy knows how to bring out the emotion in you to actually get you triggered and actually get you to act the way he wants you to act now occasionally you're gonna act a little crazy because guess what that's what comes with the territory but you don't want a good guy you don't want a good guy we know this so guess what chaz and tyrone's them niggas gonna keep on doing what they've been doing and that's the type of man you like you'll never go get with a good dude let's be real man you got a nose ring we know that already <laughs> He don't like you. Be calling my phone private late at night talking about where my man at. Here, laying right here. It's an evil world we live in. But hey, I'm gonna keep living. <laughs> He's mine. You may have had him once, but I got him all the time. You can't sleep at night. You need to leave that dope alone. <laughs> He, he need to leave that dope alone. Yeah. I'm finna send him home, though. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, nine out of ten women with a nose ring is bad shit crazy. This is not a flex, man. A woman talking about being with another woman's man and acting like that's some type of notable thing. Acting like that gets you brownie points. Acting like that's a flex. That's weird to me, right? Because it lets us know where you are mentally, how your mindset is. We know that you a side chick side chick women are women who know that they only play supporting roles they could never be the lead actor they could never be the person the a-list celebrity nah you're designated to i'm gonna call you when i call you but when i call you i want them legs up in the air i want your ass up face down you know what i'm saying straight virginia that's it right think about the woman who actually allows herself to be that girl she is crazy literally there is something wrong with her the self-worth the self-esteem is all out of whack Right? He just ate my ass, he wanna switch. He wanna switch. Now I'm eating his ass. Eating his ass. Story time on how I beat my baby dad up and he called the cops on me. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. This happened like less than an hour ago. <laughs> So for those of you that don't know, I have a daughter, she's right here, and um, her dad thinks that he is macho man and can put his hands on bitches, right? Mind you, I've warned him before, I said I'm not these other bitches, okay? Uh, you put your hands on me, I will beat you the fuck up, real shit, real shit, real, the realest shit you could possibly experience, I will literally beat you the fuck up. He didn't believe me okay fast forward to today um i i stayed up all night i stay up every night making sure she's okay i'm up all day all night i don't really sleep if you cannot tell this filter is the only thing saving me from looking horrendous anywho um she was crying and i was trying to keep her quiet because when she cries he gets mad and he tries to blame me for it so um he was like you know what just give her to me so I was like, all right, bet. So I take her out of her crib, which is right here, and I give her to him. Then I fall asleep. Next thing you know, I wake up to him saying, you didn't f***ing hear me? And I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, um, I told you to put her back in her crib. The crib is right there. We were sleeping on this bed. So in my head, I'm like, okay, so you you woke me up because you didn't want to walk around the bed and put her in her crib? Side eye. Anywho, um, fast forward, um, he he I tell him to get out of the room because he's starting to talk shit. And I'm like, bro, just leave the room because I'm already I'm on edge for real. And you haven't seen me mad. And I'm 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 about to show you what the fuck is up. Yeah. So anywho, he didn't want to leave the room. So 
Um, I told him, you don't have a choice. This is my room. How the are you gonna tell me no in my own house, bitch? Leave. So he gets up to leave and he elbows me in my back. Somebody did my fucking cow. So now I'm like, bet. I, I pushed the fuck out of him. I said, don't touch me. Now there is gonna tell me how much I have to fuck around to find out what I need to find out. He turns around, punches me in my rib. Accusations. These are not accusations. This is false accusations. I'm like, bet, right? He goes downstairs. I bring Nova downstairs to him because I'm like, oh, I do this shit all day, every single day. And you think you're going to go downstairs and have a free vacation? No, bitch, get to work in. I gave her to him. He um, starts trying to fight me to get back up the steps. Hits her head against the wall. I lost it. My mom took my daughter away. And I was like, bet, it's showtime. The minute he got upstairs, I grabbed him by his hair, threw him on the floor, started Boom, boom, haymakers, bitch. I'm knocking niggas out today. What the fuck is you talking about? You th what do you think this is? What do you think this is? For re real question. I, and I love the fact that after I started beating on him, he was like, I'm calling the cops on you. Oh, so you can leave bruises on my face. You can knee me in my fucking face while I'm laying down. But the minute I start really rocking you, I'm coming to cops, head ass. You know, a lot of these people are stupid, women and men, especially the dance, degenerate ass niggas, just in case you new to the channel. But this woman just admitted to committing a crime. You can't just beat up men just because you're angry. So guess what? This TikTok is now evidence that he could use against her in family court if he ever wants to present a case and try to get full custody of his daughter. I fear for my life, she beats me. Maybe one day she might even try to end my life. This actually can be argued in the court of law. Let's be real, it can. Anytime that you live in a country where you can sue someone because you tripped on their porch as you was trying Trying to break and enter into their house or when you order a coffee and burn your mouth think about those crazy ass lawsuits you think this argument can be presented in court she beat my ass your honor i feel for my life a good lawyer can convince a judge and a jury of that all right fellas and look i'm gonna also say this if what she's saying is true let's say he did punch her in the rib which i don't think he did it because guess what one thing about it i'll be watching these videos all the time when a woman actually has evidence or something they love to show it so if she got punched in the ribs and there was a bruise she would have showed us she would have lifted up her shirt and shown us i have a daughter she's right here I see these type of videos all the time, right? Then she said that he took the baby and accidentally bumped her head up against the wall. Well, what a bruise that on the on the baby head. Like women love to show evidence when they actually have evidence to present, bro. This is one thing I know. I take her out of her crib, which is right here. If this story is true, right? Okay, cool. Bam, you beat his ass, but you put yourself at risk because guess what? A man is way stronger than you. He could have really beat your ass. I'm thinking that he just laid down and just let you do it. But that's not the point, guys. What I'm saying is women with these nose rings are damn crazy because you have to be crazy as hell to want to go toe to toe with any man. That is not natural. Let's be real, man. The average man is like, what, 5'9", five, 5'10"? Five, the average woman is like 5'3", something crazy. It's a big height difference, a big weight distribution difference. Men on on average could fuck a woman up easily so women who fight men gone for cons and i'm gonna tell you why they grew up in an environment where they had to be on survival mode so women who actually do fight men bro they are traumatized they are crazy as hell bro because that is not a normal behavior most women are not walking around ready and capable of fighting men that's just not that's just not how it goes dog i promise you only women i know that's like that is like one out of ten one out of a hundred actually like, I grew up with some girls in the neighborhood that could hold their own with a lot of dudes, but they not regular sized women. These women are six foot and above and heavy set and athletic and they ain't just a normal average woman. Women are, and even those women are crazy. I'm keeping it real with y'all, bro. Beware of the nose ring, man. Are there exceptions to the rule? In my anecdotal experience, I'ma just say that just to protect myself. Yes. But I have never come across in real life a woman with those rings and she ain't crazy. Me personally. I can't take no more, man, I'm sick of these hoes, I'm so sick of these hoes, I can't take no more, I can't be a hero, I can't say these hoes, real player like D-Ro, 